वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ सम बेसिक क्वेश्चन एंड देन गो इन डिटेल फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज आई सी एच क्यू थ्री ए गाइडलाइन एंड वाई इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट आई सी एच क्यू थ्री ए आर टू गाइडलाइन करंट स्टेप फोर वर्जन डेटेड फिफ्टीन ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड सिक्स इज द गाइडलाइन विच स्पेसिफाइज द लिमिट्स एंड कंट्रोल ऑफ इम्प्यूरिटीज इन न्यू ड्रग्स सब्सटेंसेज टू एंश्योर देयर क्वालिटी सेफ्टी एंड इफिकसी दिस रेड्यूसेज द रिस्क ऑफ एडवर्स इफेक्ट्स facilitates regulatory approval and ensure consistent product quality what is classification of impurities as per icsq3a guideline icsq3a guideline classifies impurities in three major classes first organic impurities process and drug product related second inorganic impurities and third residual solvents what is an impurity as per icsq3a As per ICHQ3A, impurity is any component of the new drug substance that is not the chemical entity defined as the new drug substance. What is an impurity profile as per ICHQ3A? As per ICHQ3A, an impurity profile is defined as a description of the identified and unidentified impurities present in a new drug substance. What are organic impurities as per ICHQ3A? Organic impurities can arise during the manufacturing process and or storage of the new drug substances. They can be identified or unidentified, volatile or non-volatile and include first starting material, second byproducts, third intermediate products, fourth degradation products and fifth reagent, ligands and catalyst. What are inorganic impurities as per ICHQ3A? Inorganic impurities can result from the manufacturing process. They are normally known and identified and include first reagents, ligands and catalyst. Secondly, heavy metals or other residual metals. Third, inorganic salts and fourth, other materials example filter aids, charcoal etc. one of the very important question what are the requirements for analytical procedures in impurity detection and quantification in registration application as per icsq3a in icsq3a these five important requirements are mentioned for analytical procedures in impurity detection and quantification these are first validated analytical procedures second justification for impurity thresholds third precision requirements fourth development versus commercial procedures and fifth important quantitation and measurement techniques what is potential impurity as per icsq3a as per icsq3a a potential impurity is defined as an impurity that has been identified in a drug substance or drug product but for which qualification has not yet been completed What is enantiomeric impurity as per ICHQ3A? As per ICHQ3A, an enantiomeric impurity is defined as a stereoisomeric impurity that is a single enantiomer differing from the main component in its absolute configuration at one or more chiral centers. What are residual solvent impurities as per ICHQ3A? As per ICHQ3A, residual solvent impurities are defined as organic volatile chemicals that are used or produced during the manufacturing of drug substance or excipients and which are not completely removed during the purification processes what is identified impurity as per icsq3a as per icsq3a an identified impurity is defined as an impurity that has been characterized by chemical structure Identified impurities require specific documentation and evaluation in pharmaceutical development to ensure their safety and control in drug substance or products. What is unidentified impurity as per ICHQ3A? As per ICHQ3A, an unidentified impurity is defined as an impurity that has not been characterized by chemical structure. An unidentified impurity should be controlled below the qualification threshold and its properties should be described as fully as possible what is impurity qualification as per icsq3a impurity qualification as per icsq3a 
is the process of defining the impurity profile and establishing appropriate limits for impurities based on safety considerations through analytical characterization and risk assessment. What are the different types of thresholds mentioned for impurity in the ICHQ3A? The different types of thresholds mentioned in ICHQ3A includes identification thresholds, qualification thresholds and reporting thresholds for impurities in drug substances. You can refer below table for understanding the three different types of thresholds for impurity. What are identification threshold, qualification threshold and reporting threshold? We will see these one by one. First, identification threshold. It is the minimum level at which an impurity must be characterized by structure. Second is qualification threshold. It is the maximum allowable level of an identified impurity based on safety evaluation. And third is reporting threshold. This is the lowest concentration of an impurity that must be reported in drug substance specifications. What is decision tree for impurities identification and qualification? The decision tree for impurity identification and qualification in accordance with ICHQ3A involves systematic steps to characterize impurities, establish appropriate limits based on safety assessments and document findings for regulatory submissions. What is decision tree for impurities as per ICHQ3A? You can refer below schematic from ICHQ3A as a decision tree for impurities. How should differences between development and commercial analytical procedures for impurity analysis be addressed in a registration application? Differences should be discussed and justification provided for changes in analytical procedures ensuring consistency and reliability in impurity testing. What are the validation requirements for analytical procedures in impurity detection and quantification according to ICHQ3A? Analytical procedures must be validated to demonstrate their suitability and reliability in detecting and quantifying impurities. Which type of products are not covered in ICHQ3A? The following types of drug substances are not covered in this guideline. These are biological, biotechnological, peptide, oligonucleotide, radiopharmaceutical, fermentation product and semi-synthetic products derived therefrom, herbal products and crude products of animal and plant origin. Last and very important question, what impurity details should new drug substance specification should include as per ICHQ3A? The new drug substance specification should include where applicable the following list of impurities. First, organic impurities which includes each specified identified impurity, each specified unidentified impurity, any unspecified impurity with an acceptance criteria of not more than the identification threshold, total impurities. Second type is residual solvents and third important type inorganic impurities. Don't forget to like, comment and share. Subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry.